Hello there, Internet. My name is Tommy, the Digital Creation Specialist for the Bathurst Clark Research Library. And today, we're going to be continuing our look at Scratch and the concept of computer coding. And today, I'd like to introduce you all to a new concept called loops. Now, what is a loop? Well, a loop is basically when we tell a computer to repeat something again and again. And why that's important is because of a concept called efficiency. When we create computer programs, the more complex the action we're trying to complete, the more lines of code we need to write. And that means it takes the computer longer to read it and then complete it. So programmers are always looking for ways to shorten the amount of code they need to write to make the program run faster and require less resources. Now to do that in Scratch, we're going to introduce a few new blocks here. So today we're going to use the when the start flag is clicked. I'd like to introduce you all to the repeat block. That is our main way of doing loops. There's a few other ways, but this is the one we're using today. And we're going to use something called variables. So there's a little button down here called variables, and it'll give you these blocks right here. So you can see, set my variable and change my variable. Now a variable is basically like telling a computer program to remember something. And we're going to use that for our very first exercise. And that is make my friend the cat here count to the number five. So I'm going to get rid of these for now. Now, by doing it standardly, I can simply write, say, one for 0.5 seconds. And we're going to repeat this a bunch of times. Two, three, four, and five. Now, if I tell the cat to go by clicking the green go button, one, two, three, four, five. There you go. If I wanted to count to numbers like 20, 30, or 40, that would be a lot of lines of code. There's got to be a better way to do that. And there is. I'm going to get rid of all these blocks. I'm going to go back to my control panel here. And going to bring back that repeat block, go to my variables, going to get that set block. So now I'm telling the computer, okay, so I want you to remember a number and I'm going to do that by saying set my variable to, and I want to start counting at the number one. So I'll change that to one. Great. So now when I click the green start button, I'm going to set that number to one. Now we're going to repeat a step 10 times. And what we're going to do, we're going to go back to the looks. We're going to drag over the say button. And then we're going to go back to the variables, variables button. And you can see there's this little ellipse right here called my variable. And we're going to drag that to where it says hello. So when the start flag is clicked, we're going to set my variable to one. Then we're going to do something. 10 times and we're going to say my variable which is currently set to 1 for 0 0.5 seconds now if i click the start button now he the cat will say my variable which is currently 1 10 times he's not going to increase that number and when we're counting we of course want to move to the next number what we're going to do now is we're going to add one more line of code now we're going to change my variable. So by changing my variable by one, he's going to increase the count. Now see what happens when I click the green go button. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Look at that. We count, we counted to the number ten. So how many lines of code did that take us? One, two, three, four. That's less than the number of lines of code we needed to count to the number five, the old way. So that is how loops work. And I want you guys to try counting the different numbers and try out loops and see what they can do for you. Thank you very much for listening today. My name is Tommy and I am signing off. Have a great day and happy coding.